Hi, it's Pete Norstead here from Trade and Sports. And I just want to take uh, members through um, the emails they receive every day on the on the ratings and bets. Um, I've been doing my ratings now for, for quite some time, for the past seven, eight years. And basically what I do when I do the ratings, I look for various strategies. The sports I cover are ice hockey, uh, baseball, American football and our soccer. And I just wanted to show you how this all goes through. Um, over the last two seasons, what each line means and, and, and how they work. So if we have the example here of the ice hockey, we've got the home team, Toronto, playing the away team, Montreal. Toronto are the favourites. That's their opening price. That is Pinnacle's opening price, 1.45, which equates to a 68.97% chance of winning. Montreal, 2.80, which equates to a 35.71% chance of winning. Then I apply my ratings, which in this case was 1.42, giving them a 70.42% chance of winning. And Montreal, my ratings were 3.38, um, giving them a 29.59% chance of winning. Then what we do to get the value, um, my ratings were 70.42 and then you just minus the book price which was 68.97. So uh, my ratings suggest Toronto are a 1.46 value opportunity and Montreal a minus 6.13% chance. So here uh, the, the ratings suggest there's value with Toronto. So here it was a home win, and what I do where the favourite is concerned, if it goes with the rating, I highlight it green. If it goes against the rating, I'll highlight it red. I'll give you an example here. Pittsburgh, uh, their opening price was 1.69, giving them a 59.17% chance. I thought they were a 1.82 and gave them a 54.95% chance, and so it's a minus 4.23% chance and so they won so that gets highlighted in red and so as you go down you can see what I did for the 18-19 season. Now as you can see I go through all the results and then what I do after each season I've got quite a few seasons worth I then uh, look at a strategy that we can, we can use. So let's have a look at uh, the NHL. NHL 18-19 didn't do so well. Um, let's have a look. What the strategy was here, it was to lay teams uh, that opened between 1.81 and 1.88 with a negative value. For some reason, the negative values away from home between those prices looked to be good things. But this year, unfortunately, we didn't do so well. We had 60 bets. Uh, we lost 8.22 points. If you were betting to £20 stakes, that would have been 164.40, leaving a negative value of 13.7%. Of then uh, we'll have a look at the, the, the baseball. Um, we've got the uh, home side here. Miami, Chicago, it's exactly the same. These are the opening prices. Miami with 2.80 opening price. Uh, Chicago close to 1.53 opening price. My rating suggested Miami should be 2.57 and they suggested uh, Chicago Cubs should be 1.69, giving Chicago Cubs a 1. minus 1.69 rating. They won and so that turned red. Again, it's exactly the same as, as the NHL, only on this one um, I looked at a, a strategy uh, where we were looking to back those, uh, go, uh, go against, lay those teams between 1.61 and 1.70 uh, that showed a, a, a negative value. Here we had 80 selections, we staked 52.89 points and we won 6.82 points, which the equivalent if back in, if laying to £20 stakes of winning £136.60, leaving an ROI of 12.89. Here we're laying, so for example, um, uh, Arizona, Colorado, uh, we were laying Arizona, their odds were 1.71, so we risked 0.71 of a point. They lost and we won one point. Here Arizona, Colorado, Arizona the day before, Colorado 1.72, we risked 0.72 a point. Colorado won so we were minus 0.72 points. So as you can see, we did quite well uh, that uh, season, although we had a, a, you know, we got it up quite nicely, but then we went through a sort of bad patch in August. Uh, but that was that season for that. 
The NFL, we've done particularly well on, which I'm quite pleased about. So I've got a number of strategies for that. Again, this is, this is what I look at. Here, for example, we've got Philadelphia against Atlanta. Philadelphia priced at 1.52. That's the opening price of Pinnacle. And the bookmaker's uh, price is 2.81. Also, I have the spread there. Here we see the spreads. Seven and a half, four, two and a half, one. So, for example, let's have a look at one here. Philadelphia uh, bookmakers thought 1.52. My rating suggested 1.64 minus 4.81. The spread was one and a half. They won 18-12, so they covered the spread uh, and they um, they won the game. So that was highlighted as red, as that was a negative here. Um, I'll, I'll give you an example of here. Say like Green Bay here, the spread seven and a half. They only won by one, and although they were negative value, uh, the bookmakers had them priced at one point two nine. I had them priced at, at one point eight two. So they won the game, but they didn't get the spread. So I came up with a, a number of strategies here. Here we're backing the away side, showing more than ten percent value away on the spread. And uh, there was the spread at the time, Tampa plus nine and a half at 1.91. I must say that when I give these out, this is the spread at the time that the email is sent. So these are the odds and the spread at the time the email is sent. And that is via Pinnacle. So um, last year on the NFL, um, on this strategy, we had 50 bets and we had a profit of 16.07 points. Backing to £20 stakes, 321.40, giving a return on investment of 64.28%. Then what we were looking to do, we were looking to lay the, our home sides, which showed between 15 and 25% negative value. So we, what we were going to do there, we were going to back the away team on the spread, and also we were going to lay the home side. So if we have a look here in that scenario... For example, New Orleans versus Tampa. We laid New Orleans at 1.24, risking 0.24 of a, uh, a point. They lost, so we won one point. So here we risked 7.61 points in the 29 selections. We gained 2.57 points. So that gave us, uh, if you were uh, laying to 20 pounds, so that gave you a profit of 51 pounds 40, giving a return on investment of 33.77. If you are backing uh, as well, you back them on the handicaps are here. Tampa not plus nine and a half at 1.91. Again here, after 29 selections, uh, we were up 11.09 points, which gives to £20, 221.80 profit, showing a 38.24% a return on investment. Then finally, um, we were looking to lay the away side uh, which was showing above minus 15% negative value. And we can look at this here. I'll show you what I mean. There, Houston, minus 16.65. They're the favourite value. So they would have been laid against Tennessee. So if we have a look uh, here, we state 12.03 points. And we were down minus 0.19 points. So we had been down uh, minus 380, showing a negative value of minus 1.58. Backing the uh, home side on the handicap, minus 1.03 points, showing a, a loss of minus £20.60, minus 3.43 return on investment. So that, that uh, was not so great, that one. NHL this season, if the season's just started, as you can see, Toronto versus Ottawa again. I'm using Pinnacles, I state I'm using Pinnacles opening price against my rating. And here, what I've looked at a, a couple of um, scenarios in the past where laying an, a side that's negative, a home side that's negative between the odds of opening odds of 1.41 and 1.5 and 1.61 and 1.7. So here we have Carolina versus Montreal. We lay Carolina and 1.69 is the odds 
of the time that I released uh, the email. And this is basically what I look at is, is either Betfair or Matchbook. I generally go with Matchbook when advising this price. I try to get it as close to the pinnacle price as possible. So this season so far, is it's not been a great start. We've a state 10.96 points and we're minus 2.73 points. Lane to £20 uh, stakes, minus 54.60, giving a, a, a negative minus 24.9% return on investment. This year on the uh, baseball, again, we had the same uh, system uh, and the results were, were uh, quite good. Again, uh, we staked 29.43 points, giving a profit of 9.95 points uh, laying to 20 pounds uh, gave a a solid 199 um, pounds uh, profit leaving to a 34 percent return on investment this year's NFL has gone very well uh, I used exactly the same uh, strategies uh, plus 10 percent on the away side uh, backing them on the spread once again this is the spread on the time of release and this is the pinnacle odds at the time of release. Uh, so far this season we've had 32 bets with plus 18.5 points so a plus £370 uh, to £20 state giving a 57.81% return on investment. Looking to lay the home side minus 15 to 25% uh, so far this season we've had 22 selections We've staked 7.91 points and we're up 7.74 points. So up £154.80 to £20 laying and that's a 97.85% return on investment. Here uh, laying the away side again, uh, sorry, backing the away side again plus uh, points or plus 13 points plus £260 and uh, a 59.09% return on investment. Laying the away side once again has not been great so far this season. So far, uh, we're laying the away side that's showing a negative value of minus 15% or above. So far, we stake 2.97 points and we're minus 1.74 points. If you're laying to £20 uh, liability, you're minus 34.80, leaving a negativity of 58.58% uh, return. Again, backing the home side uh, on the spread. Uh, minus two ten points, uh, minus forty two pounds, laying to twenty pound stakes. As you can see with most of this, though, if you if you look through um, the NHL, the NHL there, I was backing uh, the away favourite, but most of the others here, what I'm doing, I'm going against the home side. Uh, I'm basically either laying the home side or I'm backing the away side with points. So on the MLB, I'm laying uh, the away side. On the NFL, I, I'd like to, to back the away side that's receiving points. So when it, it, I, I have a look. I always have a look uh, to see if there's any. I don't believe that these uh, home teams, my ratings suggest that these home favourites are, are, are not good value. Uh, and mostly they're not. Let's finish first then with football. I'll just... Uh, quickly get my football sheet up. This has been going now for two years. I, I, I've been doing some uh, figures on this before, but I'll just uh, show you exactly how this works. So for example, we have Cardiff versus Bristol. What I do, I have a look at the handicap spread at the time, and that was off scratch here. Uh, Pinnacle's price was 1.94 for Cardiff, 1.98 for Bristol. My rating suggested off scratch Cardiff should be 1.91 and uh, Bristol should be uh, 2.10. So Cardiff showed a, a slight advantage. Uh, they won 2 1 and so they go green. But what I, I haven't really had. Uh, a, a real great delve into these but what the strategy that I have come up with and let's have a look here the strategy I have come up with with the results is basically I'm looking to back the ho the away side that shows more than 10% value on the handicap and as you can see we started here 
on the 14th of the 10th, uh, 2016. And so far here. If we go up to yesterday. 569 bets plus 24.06, £20 stakes, £481.20, leaving a 4.22% uh, return on investment. When we have a look at the totals here over the last couple of years, uh, the NHL minus 164.40, this is to £20 stakes, the NHL minus 54.60, so not doing so well on the NHL, but hopefully that will turn around. MLB has shown pretty consistent, 136.60 and 199 this year. NFL has been great. Last year, £570.20 profit. This year, £708 profit. And the football over the past two seasons, £481.20 profit, leaving a total profit to £20 stakes of £1,876. Now, all of this, uh, these uh, ratings and bets, all of them are proofed by uh, the, the Smart Betting Club. Um, they receive the emails the same time as the members do. Uh, and basically, what it's to show you, the idea of this is to show you that you've got to spread your risk. It, it's we get members that that join our football service and look at the bot and they go in and they they, they bet these 1.6 shots and sometimes they're putting a little bit too much money on you know they haven't got a bank strategy here if you're going to follow this first of all i would say you have to believe in it if you don't believe in the method then don't do it but secondly you must be well capitalized to to follow a strategy like these ratings I would suggest that you're using, uh, say if you use £10 stakes, then I think the minimum bank you should be using is 25 points, £250. Ideally, you should be using something like 40 to 50 points, which is 400 to 50 uh, 500 pounds. If you're using 20 pound stakes, then 25 points is 500 pounds, uh, and uh, 50 points is 1,000 pounds. But you need that because for any drawdown, because you can see with the football, if we have a look at the football here, it goes up and down, really. It started off, we are 1.03 in profit, get up to 10 points, and then all of a sudden it starts, it goes up to 90, then it goes down, then you're in the negative, and then, you know, then it starts going back up and building back up again to a 24, which is giving a 4% return. And I know people say it's, it, it's not a great amount, but it's still... £481 to £20 stakes is better in your pocket than it is the bookmakers. But as you can see, by using these uh, this, this, these ratings and following these ratings, you can build up a bank while you're learning to trade the tennis and the football. Uh, and th this is, I, I really do advise members to, if you are a member of the trade on football or trade on tennis or indeed you're a platinum member and indeed you can actually become a member of the ratings and bets at trade on sports then please do these religiously do them properly and and long term you know you you should uh, show a, a nice profit well that's uh, all from me now and uh, i shall speak with you later thank you